with Eddie Hearn. I gotta ask, is this by design? It seems like you got Clarissa, a talker. You got Brandon Rios, yeah. a talker. Gabe Rosado, <laughs> Lewis, they both talkers, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, big part, baby, obviously. Part, partly by design, partly by luck. I mean, you know, when you look at uh, RAS against Rosado, that's a fight that I just knew. One, it's a really good fight. And two, I just knew that Jill, fantastic. Clarissa's Clarissa. And Hannah Rankin's very, very tough. Jarrell's Jarrell. You know, Rios against Alvarez is just a war. So this is a card that actually, like when you announce, you get the haters who go, oh, Rios against Alvarez, oh, but actually watch it. It'll be an absolute war of a night in Kansas. So I'm excited and I think it's a really good gel of personalities as well. I don't think, you know, if you think, I think everybody sitting there enjoyed that press conference. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like, so yeah, I think it's gonna be great. Has that been a part of the recruitment process? A little bit. I want like personality. Yeah, I want. Personality yeah, listen, we want elite fighters. We want great fighters, but we also want personalities. We want people that have got good followings and people that can drive interest into the show. And I think we've got a nice mix of that here. Getting Canelo, obviously a big deal. Top middleweight, somebody who's perceived as that. Anthony Joshua on the flip side of that. Has that been an easier bargaining chip to bring other people in? Yeah, much. I mean, since the Canelo signing, there's been a lot more conversations with people who are on the fence. You know, what people are being told at the moment, particularly PBC fighters, is we'll get you a pay-per-view date. All right? And now you look at it. Wilder Fury, Pacquiao Broner, Spence Garcia. When's it going to stop? So there's no Showtime boxing scheduled at the moment. Till when? February? Apart from pay-per-views. So as a fan, what are you going to do? You're going to spend, keep spending $85 on single fights instead of getting your value for money on Showtime. They can't compete with the money on normal Showtime. They have to get... I've been there, because I'm like this in the UK. We don't have the money from broadcasters to pay pay-per-view money. So we have to go pay-per-view. But the difference is, our pay-per-view is $25, not $85. That's the difference. So unless the price point comes down, these fighters are going to get the shock of their lives when they see the pay-per-view numbers, because they're going to hit the floor. Because when the Canelo fans and people like that start going, hang on, man. So I haven't got to pay $85 anymore to watch Canelo. No, you can watch it free in December, and you can watch it monthly via your subscription. Wow. And then you put another fight that's borderline pay-per-view, and you're asked to pay $80. They're not going to watch it. And the fighters have got to realize that people who get spun lines, like Mikey Garcia, if people are telling Mikey Garcia that him against Errol Spence is going to do seven, 800,000 buys, mate, you need a new advisor. Because that fight ain't doing 300,000 buys. And what happens when your paycheck, you've been told you were going to get money for 800,000 buyers and it does 200,000 buyers and you've just turned down massive guarantees. Canelo was smart. Canelo said, so you're going to guarantee me the pay-per-view money and I haven't got to gamble on the numbers. Yes. Where do I sign? You know? But the other thing. Some people are so warped by pay-per-view that, especially in America, that there are, now there's another alternative. There's never been a broadcaster that's willing to pay eight, nine, 10, 20, 40 million dollars in rights fees. Now you've got it with the zone. So you don't have to gamble on paper. How do you feel the fans' reception has been? It seems like every time I'm on Twitter, if Javante Davis makes a tweet, yeah, yeah. people are under it saying, earn with her, yeah, earn with yeah, her. Yeah. It's you like, have like a beehive kind of. No, a it's a bit of a movement because we want the support of fans because if I'm a fan, I'm all over the zone because I haven't got to pay pay-per-view. So Canelo's fighting in December, you would have had to pay $80 to watch out on HBO. You now watch it for free. How can you not like that? I mean, like, it's, there's no trick. It's not you sign up and then you've got to pay $80 the next day. It's just free. Mm. You know, when he's fighting Canelo at Golovkin, there's no extra money. It's your monthly subscription. You've got 32 matchroom fight nights. You've got Bellator, you've got Combat Americas, you've got Golden Boy shows. You've got Anthony Joshua, you've got Canelo. Pay-per-view's dead, it's over. But, don't get me wrong, when there's a Mayweather...